What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. It's Floppy Sword here. And we're playing My Time in Sandrock, the sequel to My Time in Porsche. This is a very chill, relaxed game. We're not uh, overdoing it. We're just going to do some quests and explore the game and see what it has to offer. It looks cute on the outside, and it's it's got some depth to it, though. There's so much to do. I haven't even ran over here yet. I don't know what, what's even over here. The big water tower. Just kind of exploring the breach. Must be able to uh, mine or something in here. There's Logan. He's the, the wanted man that we can hunt down. So in the first video, we kind of explored a little bit, got to know some people. Uh, registered our building at the Commerce Guild there. What's this? So we can clean up. Get a little bit of experience. Um, as far as I know, the cleanup actually doesn't affect your uh, energy at the bottom so you can actually run around and do that and get some experience while you're you're uh if you're low on uh staminas so i uh, uh what the hell is that on the train tracks interesting look at this place oh it's like a target practice place anyway let's get back on track i'm like randomly running around over here so today i spent a absolute fuck ton of time <laughs> outside in the sun so i'm just in the mood to relax a little bit today i got too much sun today kind of beat and look forward though to just kind of settling into this game tonight um and enjoying it so you might be watching this in the morning or noon afternoon danby church of light acolyte wife of rian i don't i forget who we even met in the first video one of my many tasks includes helping out at the moisture farm of course, I never take lightly any task given to me by the Church of the Light. No slack and never. All right. How about you have... I appear to have two axes. I'm not quite sure why. Do you want an axe? Wait, how much can I sell that for? Six? Give her something crappy. Some glass bits that look like they might have once been a bottle. Looks like I could probably use that for resource. Oh, she didn't like that. Seems like common sense not giving someone a terrible thing like this. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck you two. Okay, water world. What's this? Light makes right. Okay, so we can buy water here. This is... This is five here. An already invaluable resource. We've got wood, straw, fertilizer. Very cool. Ah, I like being in this little world. It's nice. So, first day on the job, we could head to uh, the Commerce. I think we're going to head back to my house first. It's getting late. Eska's po Poetry Society. Closed indefinitely. All right. Let's just head back and we'll... Uh, Maybe get a little organized. I forget what I have at my base. We have the, the little workshop bench. Uh, I think we built a recycle a recycler? The floppy shop. All right. I thought we built the recycler. Where is it? Oh, it's in my inventory here. We should probably put that down. <laughs> okay, can I rotate this? Uh, put down, rotate. I can't tell which way it's facing. There we go. Excellent. So as far as I know, everything that we use here on our and our workshop uses water. So right now the recycler is hooked up, but we're not using it. There's an alert here. I'm not sure what that means. Status zero, it's idle. And this uses 0 0.66 water per hour. Water tank is only 8% full, so we only have 25. So I think that guy that was selling the jugs, I think he, each jug was like 25, I believe. So I don't know what adjust means. Inventory water. So I don't have any on me, I don't think. Right? So cancel that and exit. And we have our workbench. Interact with that. So here we can take some junk that we have. Uh, stone, and we can turn it into various things. I don't know what I'm crafting, but let's craft it. A stone trow, I think I crafted, right? A stone bowl used in crafting, it can withstand high temperatures without cracking. Cool. 
thin thread made of some fiber. So I guess we could... I don't know if it's good to be building all this stuff. I don't even really know what I need right now. Uh, wooden stick. Okay. I think we just built one, right? Then I think that's pretty much all we can do. I got mini storage box here, so we can create that. That's 10 uh, wood that we need. So that might be something we could do. How late is it? It's getting, getting late, but... Maybe we can cut a tree down or something. I don't know if you can get wood from cutting down trees or if you have to get all the scrap piles. Here's some scrap here. Oh, I need a better tool, shit. Quality wood pile. What's this? Learned about sand leak. If you start to run out of a of backpack space, you can always buy more. On the last page. What do you mean? Spend 10 goals to unlock one backpack. Oh, shit. Well, how much money do I have? 200. Spend. Confirm. Fuck yeah, I just bought... Uh, I have 10 bucks left, which sucks, but I just bought a bunch of backpack uh, space here. Let's check out our character. I need to really change my dude's face. The, the six circles uh, are not working for me. All right, so we got this backers t-shirt. Uh, a special t-shirt for the backers of the project. I never backed the project on Kickstarter, so I'm not sure why they're giving it to me, but I appreciate that. Um, okay. Stamina, endurance, break, critical damage, held. I think we should probably call it a night. I was going to look for some wood, but... Whoa. Level 5. Any wood over here? Wooden scrap. Yeah, that'll do. How much do we get out of that? I'm looking for 10, so it's quite a bit. Oh, I got wood scrap, so I can... That's not going to cut it. Rive box here. Oh yeah, they told me not to kick, uh, sorry, not to cut down trees here, right? Wooden scrap. Okay. Oh, we got, we did get a little wood from that. So I know we can make stuff with the workbench, but I think we can take the wooden scraps and throw them in the recycler and make stuff out of them. Not sure what the wood scraps will give us. Copper scrap. Okay, we've got some copper. Little yak mills. Cute little guys. Wild alpha yak mill. He looks like he would fuck me up. I should probably get out of here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ball cactus. Sandberry. Can I eat it? Learned about sandberries. Well, what did we learn? Where do we see that? I got the inventory. Here's the sandberries. Fruit grown from the sandberry plant, a specialty product of sand rock. Beloved by most, often made into preserved fruit and even skincare products for people to use. I was hoping for some skincare products. Handbook. All. Basic awning? Oh, that's cool. Wood stick. Yada, yada, yada. It's locked. Damn you. We got the workbench, the recycler. So th these we already know how to make. It's cool. All right, social calendar knowledge locked. Okay. Encyclopedia. This must be where it's unlocked, right? For stuff. There's so much in here. It's actually pretty surprising how much is in. Like, if you want to get deep and read about every little thing. Guess who's not doing that? <laughs> we'll see. Just relaxing. We're just having a good time. 
Anyway, I got some wood scraps here. Let's go see. It's almost midnight, so I should probably gravel. Okay. <clears throat> see if I can open the recycler. here confirm wait oh was that fuel just autofill drags to put in there so uh, am i burning logs to make logs <laughs> i don't know you can manage what you're building in the working queue this is how long it will take to finish making all of these items this is your fuel meter. You can check how much fuel you have and add more if you need to. Okay, when you add fuel, you can choose what type of fuel you want to use. Some kinds of fuel last longer than others. Yeah, that, that works. Okay, I already auto-filled it, so it's fine. So right now I'm making... What is this making, though? Oh, I see. Oh, so you have a chance of getting these things. You don't even know really what you're getting. So the recycler, so if stone scrap, you have a chance of getting this stuff, yada, 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 I see. All right. Well, we'll let that do its thing. Okay. We also have a skill tree here, apparently, which is probably not unlocked. Where is that? Knowledge, must be under there. All right, so we'll have to work towards that. Let's skip to bed for now. We'll just call it a day. Myrtle's Oasis is named after Myrtle. Oh shit. All right, so apparently you can place items in your house and they give you a bonus for when you sleep here. Home assessment board, pick up home stats. Okay, I see. So we have wall lamp, three wall lamps. So the furniture effects here, you can put certain furniture in and it'll like increase your defense and your stamina and your luck and all that stuff. So that's something we have to look into as well. Let's look at the items we have for a second. I don't think I have anything that I can just place in here. I don't see it. Can I place this? You did it. You're officially building a town of Sandrock. Uh, I don't know if I can actually do anything here. Open function, add to quick bar. It's already on the quick bar. Can I place it? Oh, you can place it. There we go. Builder's license. Sweet. I'm gonna pick it up. Let me put it over here. There. I don't know if that gives an effect. Uh, home stats. I don't see. It doesn't give me any effect. Anyway, let's head to bed. Uh, sleep. He needs some sleep, that's for sure. All right, let's wake up. Morning, morning, folks. All right. Don't quit the game while saving or auto-saving. Otherwise, you're fine. They become corrupted. All right, it's a new day. Hello, new oh, builder. Shit. It is wonderful to have you here amongst our desert flock. I am Burgess, chief safety inspector of the Sand Rock chapter of the Church of the Light. All right, Burgess, you scared the fuck out of me, bro. Just standing out here waiting for me to come out. You didn't even knock. You're just standing out here. <sighs> I mostly patrol the oasis. And if that water level moves even a centimeter, boy, you better believe I'll let everyone and their mother know about it. Now, uh, yes, as per the minister's instructions, I have come with a gift. Water, to be Ooh. more specific, the most precious gift of all. In Sand Rock, Martel's Oasis is pretty much our only reliable source of natural water. Okay. We also get some water from the other city-states, but it's expensive. So we need to be really careful and smart about how we divvy it out. Might I bring your attention to the humble little fence propped up around the oasis? It's the town's friendly way of saying, Don't take water out of the oasis all willy-nilly, or <laughs> cut down the trees for that matter. Wow. If you're short on water in your workshop, might I recommend checking the plants around your workshop for fresh morning dew, or just come on down to the water tower overlooking the oasis. Or come down, okay. I'm pretty sure builder machines won't run without water in their water tank. 
So I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the future. All right. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Okay. See you at the water tower, new pal. Okay, Burgess. I, I don't know what I think of you, but uh, I appreciate the... I appreciate the water. Okay, so let's head here and interact. So, adjust. So this will add the water that I have on me here, right? What? I wonder if there's any reason for me to keep water on me. Like, shouldn't I just always just put it straight in here? 13%. Holy shit, that wasn't much at all. Okay. Can we go check for morning dew then? Morning dew. Cacti. Can I kick it? Nothing else will drop. What happens if I cut him down? Do you get do that way? Hi there, friend. Oh. I couldn't help but notice you're doing something illegal. Oh. We are not allowed to cut down trees near the town. Ouch. Okay, so cactuses are considered trees here. Okay. I'm Canadian, bro. I don't know this shit. Sorry, I didn't oh. know. Cutting down trees around town can have some seriously negative effects on our environment. Seeing as this is your first offense, I'll let it slide. But if I catch you out here chopping down public trees again, well, I'll have no choice but to fine you to the full extent Sandrock nuisancery law allows for. What's that, you're gonna spank me, you freak? Worse than that, though. Why, if I saw you chopping down trees, I, I don't know if I would want to be your friend anymore. Holy shit. I'm sure a lot of people around town would feel the same way. But don't you worry. You can find wood scrap out in the desert, buy imported wood from me, even <coughs> plant your own trees on your own property. See, plenty of ways. So you really have no need to chop these trees down. That's all, builder. Conserve water and don't chop down these trees. Wow, this guy's gonna kill me in my sleep and wear my face someday. Not, uh, not impressed by him at all. Okay, let's see. Oregano. I was hoping for some morning dew, but... That's okay. Oh, we got dew off that. Nice. Sandflower. Can I cut this down? Okay, that one's fine. Did I get dew from that? I think I got dew from that too. Learned about Yakthorn. Okay. Oh wait. Is that Is that a tree or Okay. Is everybody cool? It's a cactus, I mean. Okay, fuck him. Okay, we won't hit the cactus. We'll get the yellow lavender, though. Ugh. I don't know how much do we need to make water. Or how to make water. Do we need a machine to process the water? Oh, shit. I hit that cactus. You know that cactus tree? <laughs> I wonder how long the uh, morning dew lasts. Let's see if I'm still getting any here. Uh, no. Don't look like it. It's probably gone by now. That's good. Let's call it. We'll get out of this area. Let's head back and see how the old recycler's doing. Get a good feel for how uh, the 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 shop is running. All right, done in a minute and so. All right, we got some wooden sticks, five. I got 10 wood, got 16 drags. Okay, nice. Cool, so here we have this, then thread. Craft, what am I crafting exactly? Your plant fiber into thin, thin thread, I see. 
Oh, this is the plant fiber here. I thought it was the same picture. My bad. So to make water, we can take 10. Uh, do. Okay. And we can make into one water. How big's the water? I think we can only make one. Okay, so I got one water. Is that 25 or whatever? Let's pop it in here. Just, we got one. I think it's 10. What are we in now? 37? Okay. Confirm, now we're up to 47. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I'll be a water conservist. This is this is to 10. All right, do we check this or what? That looks like a lot of commitments. No, thanks. Have a good day. I'm having fun on my on my place. I'm just running shit here. All right, assembly station. Can we build anything here? We have a furnace. Can we make this? Hmm, remember to put water in my water tank. Stone fro. Stone. Uh, show me a stone and I'll show you my pick hammer. Okay. So I can assemble this. Let's see what we got. I got enough of those. That's good. Quartz. Ooh. Uh, wooden sticks. I got those. Show me in the handbook. Quartz from quarry. Quarry. Uh, or ore refinery. So the quarry, where is that? Is there a quarry? Hmm, have I found a quarry yet? I don't know. I don't know if I've even found one. Commotion on the bridge? What the hell's going on there? Should we go check it out? I don't even have a weapon yet, I don't think. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, Sandy? Good to see you. Brah. <laughs> Sandy's the best. Yeah, see, they look like baddies. Uh, I don't think I'm, I should be fighting these guys. Let me see. Inventory. Uh, I have an, just my axe. I don't think I really have any... I'm a lover, guys. Wait, what's happening? Oh, shit. You must be one of the new builders. That's well, me, Justice. Justice is my name. Hey, man. Justice is my game. That's right. I'm the law around these parts. Head of the Silver Corps. Having said that, what are you doing so far from your workshop? It ain't safe here. For some darn reason, these lizard folk have been poking into our territory as of late, spray painting their names all over things, picking at structures all over. I've heard they even messing with our bridge here. They call themselves the Gigglers. And them acting all emboldened like couldn't have come at a worse time. Light knows we've got enough to worry about with Logan and his gang out prowling around. Well, be warned. Best be on your way away from here. Well, I thought he was gonna give me like a starter, uh... Hey there. ...weapon or something. Okay, Unsure's a good kid. Heart's in the right place. Don't talk too much. Follow his orders. Still stiff as a board, or sorry, where am I going with this? Alright, spar, play critters, exit. Alright. So long, partner. Well, at least we got to meet that guy. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. What's on our map now? Okay, yeah, we got this commission thing. Blue Moon Saloon, seven, oh right. Oh shit, weren't they doing a celebration thing for me today? I completely forgot. Is that where it was at? Hi Burgess, you freak. Hi Nemo. Nemo's the best. Huh. Huh. Blue Moon Saloon. All right. Let's head in here. The Day of Memories is a festival where people of the free cities commemorate the people who aren't around anymore. Okay. Okay. Hey, Owen. Hey. You're one of the new builders. That's me, man. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Owen. I run the Blue Moon Saloon. You look like you came out of Beauty and the Beast. Are you hungry? I have a couple sample dishes. 
I know you can work up <laughs> quite an appetite uh, after spending a day in the ruins. Drop by any time. I'll be... Well, thank you, Owen. I appreciate that. What? Why is there still a thing about this? Hey head? there, Builder. Did you oh, get my letter? Oh, he sent me a letter. Why uh, don't we have a chat over uh, some food and drinks? Yeah. It, it won't take too long. But that letter, uh... Pretty awkward. Okay, uh, sure. I like free food. What does he want? Where is this going? I've been meaning to catch up with you since you moved in. But I guess you and me, Anne, have been busy with all that's been going on of late. <laughs> As a small token of my appreciation, I'd like to offer you some food and drinks on the house. Pretty to nice. a newcomer, Sand Rock can be a bit overwhelming. But lucky for you, this old barkeep has been around for just a hair longer than a pan bat's age. <laughs> uh, perhaps I can shed some light on any subjects uh, you're still unfamiliar with. Going. What would you like to know about? Okay, this is a good time to learn. This might not be the most exciting content in the world, but maybe we should learn a little bit more about this stuff. Uh, let's learn about the dangers around town. Ah, yes. There is an infamous bandit around here named Logan. He used to be a citizen of our town as well. One day he just went crazy and blew up a building. I guess being out here in the desert makes some people lose their minds. Other than that, you have to watch out for some dangerous animals roaming the wilds. <laughs> like the Geeglers. Uh, they're mutated lizards who seem bent on causing us trouble for some reason. Oh, and how could I forget? <laughs> the sandstorms. Our mayor is out in the desert right now, trying to stop the winds from blowing sand over what little greenery we have left. You know, it wasn't always like this. A lot of people have left, and I can't really blame them. Sand Rock might not be the best place for everybody, but there are still people who love this town. And we'll all be sticking around, for better or for worse. What would you like to know about? Ah, uh, let's do this. Ah, uh, the Civil, the Corps. Civil Corps here are that thin, dusty line that stands between us and the many threats crawling throughout the Ufala Desert. Is that justice? But they only have two Corps members here. Uh, plus, <laughs> a cat. That must be that pissed off looking cat that we saw in the first video. I'm amazed that they're able to keep up with all the security demand. Of course, Pen from the church helps out as well. Now the one running the Civil Corps is a man named Justice. He and I go way back. He's one of the toughest guys around Sandrock these days. But back when we were kids, he was afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> oh boy, how times do change. He's a great guy. And his partner, Unsure, is also very reliable. If you ever run into trouble, you can surely count on them to help you out. Okay. What would you like to know about? Let's talk about the Church of Light, my bro. The Church of Light is all about preserving the sense of community and getting rid of dangerous <clears throat> Age of Corruption technology. Age of Corruption But the mean. interesting thing about our chapter is that Matilda is extremely lenient when it comes to relics and old tech. What does that mean? Oh, okay, so we're against the Age of Corruption technology, which would include old tech. In Sandrock, we're allowed to hold on to some pretty mean stuff. Sometimes they'll even let relic weapons slide. And it's a good thing, too. Uh, life would be much harder out here if we didn't have the means to defend ourselves. Our chapter is pretty unique in that way. Although I heard some chapters near the peripheries take similar stances. The church members are always proactive about helping people in and around Sandrock. Especially the old folk and the youngins. Okay. They've gotten so organized that, as a matter of fact, they actually help handle a lot of administrative type stuff in town. Uh, we'd be up a creek without them. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, creeks have water, don't they? <laughs> Classic Owen. What would you like to know about? Uh, the people in town. Let's, let's, let's wrap this up. <laughs> Where to begin? To We're a small town, <laughs> so pretty much everybody knows everybody else. There's Vivi the tailor, Heidi the architect and engineer, Cooper, Mabel, and Elsie down at the ranch, Katori and her game center, Dr. Fang and his bird. Tell me more about the game center. There's also Arvio and Amira, the sibling duo from Barnarok who moved here not that long ago. Arvio is young, but he runs the general store pretty nicely, all things considered. Amira makes ceramics that are top-notch. I 
think she's even starting to gain some recognition from people outside of Sandrock. You can definitely tell Amira is the older sister. She's always the one covering for her brother whenever his youth gets the better of him. But what's also amazing is that she never lets her skills get to her head. She's very down to earth and she... Uh, sorry, maybe I'm talking too much. A little bit, really, dude. This town is full of nice people. Okay. If there's someone you want to get to know better, ask them to hang out. Make time out of your day to go see them. And hey, who doesn't like a nice gift now and again? I'm sure you'll have plenty of friends in no time. What would you like to know about? That's all for now, my <laughs> yep. man. Uh, don't let me talk your ear off. Some things you've just got to experience to understand. Don't worry too much. You'll fit right in. Hey, I've been doing all this talking, and I haven't had a bite to eat yet. Uh, maybe you should share your tales as well. All right. Another cut screen. Today was nice. We got to do this more often. In any case, let what me hit you with a with couple takeaway like, dishes seriously, for like, what... <laughs> Builders can't go hungry, you know? Oh, and you're a good guy. That is your real name. Stop in at the Blue Moon Bradley anytime Cooper. you're out of energy and need a picker-upper. Don't know what to order. Get the special of the day. That's right. We've got a discount on something new every day. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. This guy's still I didn't talking. mean to turn this into an ad spot for the saloon. I'm sure you're busy learning the ropes around here. I'd better get back to it, too. I hope to see you again soon. All right, well, that was good to meet him, though. He did give us a lot of good information. I feel like I got to know about the town a little bit better. He did talk a lot. This clock looks really expensive. It's full of complicated gears in the system. It doesn't seem to be working, though. It's probably used for decoration. Greeting shelf. Okay. I wonder if these are things that we can add into our house at some point. Not these exact ones, but... Alright, so here's the special of the day, I assume? Oh, no, this is just the straight-up menu. He did give us some food already, so I'm probably going to cancel that. Blue Moon to go. We fry him, you buy him. So he's got some milk steamed eggs, roasted eel, honey avocado, some meat bun, barbecue scallop, meatloaf, rice. Interesting. Okay. Can we sell some stuff? Because I got way too much shit on me. I'm always looking for new stuff. Hey, look at this sweet and sour sandfish I got on me. You want to buy this back? All right, let me see. He gave me... Wait. No, these are mine. This item is in your quick bar. Really? So, yeah. Take them all. Take them all. Why are you asking for an amount? Like, if there's only one. Yellow lavender. This is one of the... F okay. Take them. Yeah. This looks good. What? You don't have enough of this to sell. Weird. Okay. Plant fiber. So, yep. Go for it. Get two bucks. Cactus fruit. So you must have to sell them in groups or something, right? I got sandworms. Uh, let's go ahead and sell all those. I don't know if I'm actually making any money here or not. I don't feel like it. I'm just trying to lose some items out of my... There we go, 30 bucks for that, that's pretty good. It records the story of adventurers who explored the west... Wasteland. I don't know if we can read that or not. Quartz! Uh, throwing rock. Alright, this, this is fine. I we can do... We can do this shit later. Can I sort my inventory? That's a question. I've, is there a sort button? I don't see one. Z. Oh. <laughs> the big sort button. Idiot. Okay, let's get out of here. You can recheck any tutorial content from the help menu if you need to recap. Okay. Oh, let's clean this up. Alright, so... I do remember there was a treasure chest over here, I believe, that we got in the first video. Let's go check that out. And yes, I do realize we do have a quest there. I'm just, again, getting to know the, the town better. Wait, wasn't there a chest I opened on here? 
Hmm, bad memory. Where was that? Was it inside? There it is. All right, we got it. Nothing else in there? Good. Well, let's just talk to Jensen. Howdy. Did you know this is railway is built by a free city? Blah, blah, blah. I hope you can live up to Okay. That's some random chat. I just want to yeah, get the friendship uh, point. All right. Nothing there. We don't want to be cutting down the cacti. What's this building? The meat? Look like meat lying around. Oh, it's a horsey. Horsies! Cool. Can I buy them? Doesn't look like this is available yet. I don't know if that's just not in the game yet or if my level's too low. Hey, Cooper. Howdy there, partner. Oh, this must be the Can't ranch. say I recognize you. I'm afraid I ain't got time for pleasantries at the moment. Speak with Mabel if you have business with the ranch. Okay. Mabel. Is this the ranch up here? Or is that part of it? Yeah, let's clean up some turd, I guess. Okay. Yackle. <laughs> I like the yackles. My home. Ranch store. What can we get here? You can buy or sell animals at the Wandering Y store. After purchasing animals, they will appear directly in the relevant housing. All baby animals that can be purchased are displayed here. A little yakky thing, a little birds. What is that thing? Is that a weird rabbit? Uh, after selecting an animal, you can see the required housing or the animal and the product created once it reaches adulthood. Okay lives in a barn and it can produce milk horns or something I don't know what I'm looking at so a baby hen here you can also choose to sell the animals you already own oh cool look at the little thing he's incredible or she so a yak milk calf so he makes milk horns and hair a baby hen feather and egg a rooster that's all they make is just feathers? What the hell's the point of that? Uh, actually, do they serve a purpose? Can be used for decoration. Okay. <gasps> it's a floppy. I'm suing the fuck out of these people. Okay, let's, uh... Hmm. Sus. You, uh, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Learned Yakmel Horn Bracelet. All right, let's chop this down. Ugh. All right. Reminder, fireside meeting. Where's that at? Where do I go for fireside meeting? Mari's home. Where's... I don't know where exactly I'm supposed to go. Fireside meeting. Uh, I see people here. Hey, what's up? Hello. The hazardous ruins here appear to be what's left of a shopping mall from the old world called Paradise Lost. Who would want to go shopping in a creepy sounding place <laughs> like that? I like her. See ya. She's fun. Okay, where's everyone going? What's this place? All right, hammer time. Let's just take a quick look here. Fireside. It's probably something obvious. Oh, here it is. 
Is that there the first time I looked? I didn't see it. Let's go check it out. Simmer down now, y'all. <clears throat> As many of y'all know, our resident builder, Mason, who has been a hard-working member of our community for many years, will be leaving our flock to seek, shall we say, greener pastures. <laughs> but today's meeting is not about goodbyes. There'll be plenty of time for that at Mason's retirement party. No, today is a celebration of hellos. Let's give it up for our new builders. Mien and Flabby. Thanks, everyone. Very excited to be starting here. I'm going to do my very best to bring Telesis to Sandrock. Care to say a few words? Uh, I want to be a great builder. I want to make new, many friends. I want to live a carefree life. Uh... I mean, all of these, I guess. Well said, builder. I'm a builder, so Couldn't I guess I'm a builder. Couldn't have put it better myself. Everyone, let's be patient with our new builders while they learn the ropes. And builders, don't hesitate to ask <laughs> any of us for help. We won't be hesitating in putting you all to work. One more time, a big sand rock welcome for our new builders. We have some omelets, courtesy Ooh. of none other than our very own There's Owen. Owen stepping Get up them again. while they're still hot. Big D energy on that guy. Oh, and remember, conserve water. What? <laughs> All right. Thanks for showing up, everybody. Don't forget to rest when you're running out of steam. Thanks, Cooper. Appreciate it. All right, a lot of great deals. Take a look. So they, this place has some stuff we can buy. This is how much? In museum, medium exhibit. What do you mean by that? 156, I can't afford any of that because I'm broke dick right now. Uh, I got two axes for some reason. Stone axe. Is there a durability on these? Stamina. These are exactly the same, right? This one, increase the efficiency of tree chopping 5%. Log output plus 5%. What? Yeah, I'll sell it. Give it a good home, okay. Open the function. No, we can't do that in here anyway. Uh, okay. I need some money. So let's sell all of this shit. Jerky. Yeah, I don't care. Sell it all. I need money. I just want money. Throwing rock. What else is worth a lot here? Oh, we can sell that. Beautiful. You want some shit? Okay. What is this? Cactus spine. Yeah, you can take that. Oh, I got a few of those. Don't have enough of these, okay. Uh, thin... Oh, I can make a little bit of money there. Rope. Okay, so we did get a, a few bucks. Let's buy. Should we get a storage here? From work table by the stairs, need recipe commerce guild store. Bigger than a small storage box, but... Uh, place this box on top of a smaller one to replace it. The smaller box will return to your backpack. Lamps, uh, simple chairs. All right, that's good. I'm just gonna leave that for now. Is there anything else I can do here? I don't. I don't think so. What time is it? Okay. All right. I think it's time, folks. I think it's time. Maybe we'll pick up a job here. We won't start it tonight, but maybe we could do the little, the little scene here. Here we go. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, did you get a message from Yen saying emergency come now as well? No, I Wonder didn't. what's the emergency. Okay. 
Let's check it out. Commerce Guild. Cookie fish and Mickey. Shit. Listen here, you lazy mop stick. Me and my boys have had it up Get him. Here with you. Get him. Beat his ass. Where's our oh. man, Don? Oh, look. Rocky. Oh, buddy, old pal. Oh, shit Don't now. you buddy me, pal. I knew he'd fuck with the Since wrong Mason's guy. Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. First it was you had a cold, and then it was your turtle beans. And today I find out you don't even got a turtle. <laughs> you understand how much money I'm losing here. So now I got to give you a beat down. Sorry, pal, but it's a company policy. Oh, uh, uh, wait, no, Rocky, no, look. Well, what I really meant is uh, I was bringing in new people to take special care of your commission. Uh, look, liar. Did we come at a bad time? No, no, you came at the perfect time. Uh, Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of Eufala Salvage. And he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. <clears throat> All right. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few uh, uh, months or so. But now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands. <laughs> uh, help out, uh, right? Yeah, sure. That's what we're here for. Did you hear that? Our first big job. See? They're up for it. Uh, what do you say, uh, buddy pal? All right, Yen. Against my better judgment, I'm going to give you one more chance. I wouldn't trust me. My name's Floppy Sword. Great. Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working out of Paradise Lost. You know, that big looking ruins right next to the builder's workshop? My pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each one of you can make a lift. Easy peasy for all. Okay. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to, and hey, I'm not your pal. <laughs> if you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there. Can't miss it. Normally, we charge a weekly fee for access. But here, take a free one-week pass. Okay, so we got a weekly pass there. When you're done, install it for me as well. She already drew me up a diagram for the lift. So yeah, you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this sigh excuse for a builder here. Uh, my, uh, back was hurting. <laughs> Yeah, Jan, back is certain. Never mind, I won't say it. We won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to take a look at Rocky's salvage yard. Looks like we'll need to use a furnace as well. Well, Interesting. we can't finish if we don't get started. Let's do our best. All right. You wanna get married? No. Hey, no. Okay. How you doing? Oh, I didn't mean to talk to him. Hey, we made a good relationship with him. Hearing about everyone communicating at the fireside meeting got me thinking. Maybe I should have something like that for me and my boys. Nah, I'll just sock them one whenever they tick me off. I got a weird, uh, what would he like? Probably like food, right? Yeah. Yeah, we like that. Thanks for thinking of him. Yeah, thanks for, uh, threatening See that ya. guy's life. I don't like him either, Jan. Fucking warp. All right, let's, uh, when you're ready to explore the hazardous runes, prepare enough stamina and health items for the trip. Good weapons and equipment are also crucial. Sounds interesting. Okay, so let's head out. It's getting late here. We'll head back to our workshop. Oh, I saw Shooting Star. I'm excited. Hey, there's another one up there. Cool. Beautiful. Thumbnail? What do you think? I mean, that looks pretty cool. I like the colors. I like it. Where are we at? All right. Let's head back and we can leave the blueprint so we know that what we need to create. Oh, we didn't finish our. Uh... Right. Quarry and ore refinery. Where's the quarry? Hmm. Because I can't. I don't think I can do two at once, right? Can we I can't go back on that. All right, so let's just leave that. No, I didn't want to do that. Shit. Uh, wooden stick, dregs. Okay. So 
Is there anything that gives me a chance of quarry, 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 or not quarry, um, damn it, what's it called? Quartz, quartz, I can think of the name for a second. Anything that gives me a chance of quartz. Doesn't look like it. So it's just a base uh, resource, I guess, and I just haven't found out where that's at yet. Let's just do a little run through over here, maybe. Let's do a little, little bit of an exploration. What's going on here? Oh, that's the Eufala salvage yard. That's over there somewhere. Yeah, up there on the hill. Level eight thorny jumper. I thought it said horny jumper for a second. Okay, I'll take that, I guess. Hey, little guy. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, no. No, I don't want to fight you. What's he doing? Holy shit. Okay. Well, I did nothing. <laughs> Let me out of here. He's chasing me. I need protection. All right, we're good. Well, I guess we're not going down that way yet. All right, it's almost midnight. I don't want to be out later next. I think you pass out at two o'clock. I could be wrong on that time, but I think it's two o'clock and that's coming up quick. So let's get out of here. What the hell's this? Okay. A weirdo standing out here in the middle of the night. <laughs> I guess they're thinking the same thing about me. Are you? All right. Home sweet home. We are. Let's just go ahead and sleep. Call it a night. Get some well rested. Shut eye. Okay. Uh, my hot bar. Oh, I forgot about this. We can quick save too, can't we? How do I change my hot bar? That's a good question right here. I see it, but like, how do I move my stuff? I forgot it was in here in the inventory. Okay, so this is good. I'm gonna put this new sweater on or a new shirt. And let's go ahead and sort this. Uh, and I think we'll go out and let's just go ahead and grab some some morning dew off the uh, plants. Uh, I think that's a great way to get keep the water flowing for free. At least for now, an early game. I don't know if there's a better way. Because we're not using much right now, but uh, once we add more to everything, that's going to become a problem, I, I assume. Ooh! Level 5. So wait, we I believe... <gasps> yeah, we unlocked the skill tree. While playing the game, you will get different kinds of knowledge XP, which will automatically turn into knowledge points. These messages, like I'm a, like, you're just fuck. Okay, gathering knowledge can help you improve your gather ability. So that's a different thing here. Okay. What do we got here? We got gathering, workshop skills, combat. Okay. And social, social butterfly, commission knowledge, social knowledge XP gained. Okay. Social activity knowledge. Great. So here we have a gathering knowledge skill. So how many points do I currently have to spend? I see a one there, so I assume that's what I have. Basic gathering knowledge. Ex level one would be ex experience gained by gathering increased. Stamina points max, okay. Basic wood knowledge. Fantastic. Here we have mass production knowledge. Learner knowledge. Yard knowledge. Not enough knowledge points. All right, so do I just spend it on one of these? Stone, wood, stamina. 
I mean, this is a basic. This goes up to where? Picker upper knowledge? Okay. And what does this unlock? Advanced stone. Gem finding. Fuel finding. Gunpowder. And disc finding. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and throw that on there. All right. So now we have experience gained by gathering increased by 10%. Sick. All right. What else we got? Mission. This isn't unlocked, but we do have this new job that we're working on here. So collect scrap in the salvage yard of Yafala Salvage and recycle what you can, uh, you find to get what you need to construct the crane lift. I'm actually looking for quartz, so maybe we can try doing that as well. Here we have the handbook. We have the cra uh, crane lift. I think that's the only new thing that we're looking at here. Soon I'll be cooking up ores in my furnace. Here we got new. This is just telling us about some new friends we're making. Okay, let's uh, see. I don't care about that. Knowledge we just unlocked. The album. Okay, we got different events here. That's kind of cool. I like that. All right. Items. So this is pretty cool. Okay, quarry. Quartz from quarry. A relatively common mineral. Translucent, but surprisingly hard. Can be used as a crafting. Yeah, so we're looking for this right now. So is there a place? Let me go back here. Geography. Sand rock. What, what is all this? Are these all other places? Like towns? There's no way. All right. Well, I was trying to look for information on the quarry, but that's all right. Well, we have lots to explore here. Let's go ahead again. Grab some morning dew here. Okay. I don't know if you get any off the sand grass. I like breaking that. It's nice and quick. Yeah, I don't think you get more you can do off sand grass, but it could be wrong. Bonk. That music. All right, still got a few minutes left here, but uh, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much to everybody who's helped me grow this channel over the last few months. The channel's only three or four months old, and we're, we're flying. We're growing well. It's feeling good. Lots of momentum. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Did I get him? I don't think I got him. Did I get him? <gasps> Shiny scorpion. It doesn't jump out as having an obvious use. Okay. I've seen this. That there were 64 coins. What's this guy? Poco. A stray pig nosed owl nests in, in cacti. I want you. Come be my friend, Coco. You can follow me. I will feed you and take care of you. Let's go sell this uh, scorpion that we got. <laughs> All right. I'm going to bring this up. To there he is. There's the man. Captain. I love him. Let's go ahead and sell... Oh, she doesn't sell it. We want the general store. Wait, tailor made. Where's the general store? Up here? Yeah. I wish this one was a little bit closer. Because they'll probably come here often. Sell. Yeah, so we can get 60 for that. That's a nice chunk of change. All right, I don't see anything else that's really super high valuable. We got planks. I need those probably. I think everything else is fine. We have quartz here. Did, actually, can we buy quartz? I didn't even think of that. I don't see any. I don't know where else you would buy it. What's here? Introduction to the tumbleweed standard. 
By the way, I should go check my mail in my mailbox. I was joking at first, and then I just forgot about it. All right, so this is the official newspaper of Sand Rock, the Tumbleweed Standard. The regular issue is once a month and will be updated after major events. Click here to see the full report. Introduction to the Tumbleweed Standard. Uh, advertising in newspapers and periodicals can increase the income of your workshop. Interesting. How? The advertisement lasts for one week. The bonus effect of advertising is random. If you are not satisfied with the current effect, you can cancel and advertise again. Interesting. Welcome. Fireside function. Oh, wow. That's a lot of reading. Holy shit. Logan's still at large. Okay. Let's just look at the, uh, the headline. Fireside function found fully fun. Holy crap. Uh, I was especially moved by Mian's speech. Oh, well, screw you. We just want to provide a sense of community and keep everyone okay. All in all, the report has to agree the quality of fireside meetings in Sand Rock is on the up and up. All right. Well, no mention of Floppy there, but that's fine. Uh, in case you forgot, it's almost the Day of Memories. Come one, come all to the fabulous event that has critics raving. During the Day of Memories Festival, Sand Rock is a city of lights, the true sapphire of the desert. A testament to the tenacity of the people. Decorations are already being strewn about the lovely city of San Rock as preparations are approaching an apex. Folks from all over are flocking to come see the fabulous festivities offered during the Day of Memories, not at least the iconic Chase of Memories. For those not in the know, the Chase of Memories is an age-old tradition dating back for the earliest days of San Rock when it was just a small settlement blooming out of the wreckage caused by the Age of Darkness. The festivities include a hide-and-seek type game where ghost hunters seek after ghosts who are disguising themselves as everyday objects, but don't let the jovial nature fool you. The Chase of Memories garners quite the competitive spirit. Just ask two-time champion of the event, Cooper. Truth be told, best thing you can do is stand between someone while they're scanning an area for ghosts. Then you steal all the badges they'd be getting. It ain't exactly honest, but it's a doggy dog world out there, I'll tell you. Interesting. And there's an ad placement here. I'm not going to do that yet because we could subscribe, I guess. Monthly issue of the Tumbleweed Center will be delivered. Can I just read it here? Yeah, it looks like it's just posted here. Like, why the hell would I buy it? Okay. I guess you just forget, but if you make it part of your ritual, check it every once in a while. We'll see how much money we're making. All right, I kind of forget what I was doing. Uh, I'm gonna end this video here though. Uh, join me in my time at Sand Rock as we continue our journey here. Get all this questing done. I'm gonna check my mailbox finally. From the church, we have an important announcement at the tonight's Okay, well, that's old news, isn't it? Okay, what was the next one from Construction Junction? Welcome to Sand Rock. On behalf of my good friend, Mayor Trudy, who couldn't be a, a, available to write this letter, I'd like to extend our warmest regards. From this neck of the woods, I own the Construction Junction office next to the City Hall. If you're thinking of upgrading your workshop, stop in. Ooh, Construction Junction. Hope you're settling in all right. All right. And from Owen. Hey there, newcomer. Hope you're settling. We already talked, Owen, so a little late on that one, too. Great, we're all caught up. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you in the next video. Appreciate it. Please subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. Hell, you can just put an emoji just so I know that you are alive and well and enjoying the videos. My guy is barely alive and well. I'm very concerned about his health. Maybe because I don't eat. Yeah, how about you eat? I really need to change his looks a little bit. It's kind of scary. All right, folks. Peace out. Stay floppy, my friends. Fortnite dance.